Dean Elgar will step into the breach to lead the depleted Proteas in the absence of regular captain Faf du Plessis, who has remained in South Africa after the birth of his first child, while A.B. de Villiers is back in the country for some deserved rest. Meanwhile, the return of the venomous seamer Vernon Ferlander will boost the team ranked second on the ICC test rankings and will carry a heavy burden as South Africa aims to maintain its proud record against England. South Africa have not lost a test series to England since 2000. Philander believes that the leadership core within the squad is good enough to handle the pressure in the English capital. I think it's obviously an opportunity for someone else to step up and lead the country. Um, you know, we've got all the faith in Dean. Um, like I said, you know, I said it to someone else earlier, if you, if, you know, if you have the support of the, you know, the other 10 guys on the field, you know, it'll make his job a lot easier. But uh, like I said, it's, you know, it's an opportunity for someone else. It's obviously a big miss losing Faf. Um, but yeah, you know, we all understand these circumstances at the moment, but opportunity for someone else. The Proteas won't be able to overtake the top-ranked side in the world with victory over England, but should Elga's men triumph at Lords, they will close the gap on India to just one point ahead of their visit later in the year. So lots of incentive, even though some of the biggest names in the game will be missing from the home of cricket. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg.